Yes, uh, good afternoon again, and this is um, a short tutorial again on the Samsung ME series digital signage display I have behind me here. This is a 40 inch display which is a diagonal measurement from corner to corner. It is running uh, at high definition resolutions which is 1920 pixels across, 1080 pixels down, also commonly known as high definition, full high definition uh, or 1080p. So. Um, we want to just cover in this tutorial just quickly the uh, commercial displays themselves and the fact that they are very different to a TV that you might buy from your local uh, retailer uh, and the main differences are the fact that they do not have a tuner all right? so no DVB transmissions are capable internally you need to bring them in externally from a set top box or something like that um, the other difference is that they can be put in a landscape mode, which we have here, or portrait mode, and we can turn and adjust the image to suit. Uh, and that, that's there's two things that work there. Is uh, one thing is the software or the, the, the graphic manipulation to better turn the, the graphics around. But secondly, heat dissipation has been taken care of by the manufacturer, um, so that in that portrait mode, being this way. Um, the heat can be dissipated satisfactorily from the unit and, um, and not become a problem for overheating. Uh, the other main difference between uh, commercial grade displays such as this one and a TV you might buy from your retailer uh, is the actual quality of the display uh, in terms of there's a number of different things. The brightness is typically brighter than what you would get um, out of a, a standard TV. Uh, this one here I think is about 400 CDM or can candela, which is a measurement for brightness. You find things that you get out of, or TVs you get out of um, your local retailer will be less than that, more like in the 300s. As I said, this is 400, other commercial displays from Samsung are about 700 uh, and, and higher again for outdoor applications, so, but that's not covered in this tutorial. So. Um, I just want to cover off quickly uh, the use of the um, scheduling for the power management. Um, there are buttons here behind the um, display. You can see that as you touch them, it actually brings up the, uh, the button use so you know what you're doing. Um, they're hidden away very nicely. Uh, most people don't realise they're there until they stumble across them. Or we'll alternatively, use the remote. What we're actually watching here is Magic Info Lite. So that's an onboard media player. Uh, there's no external attachments, uh, no external computer, it's all on board. What you see there is actually running from internal memory. It could similarly run from um, the USB stick. Uh, so they are the two uh, places that the content can reside on and the scheduling as well. So there's two things we're going to be talking about, content and scheduling. The content is what, dis what images are coming up on the display and the scheduling of course is when it's coming up. And when it's not. Um, so a monitor such as this one has an internal clock which needs to be set to the current time and of course the schedule um, is associated with some content and it also needs to be given a start time and an end time. So those those two things working together determine what we get on screen. Um, Magic Info Lite as I mentioned um, is the onboard media player and it's considered an input just like any other input, uh, such as HDMI one or PC one. Um, so it needs to be selected, um, and you can do so by going using the source button and selecting in the list. You can see just grayed out there are other inputs which are not active, there's nothing plugged into them. But of course, Magic Info Lite is there because it can be selected. Um, so there's a button also, a shortcut button provided here so that you can actually quickly select it as well. So if I just go into this, um, we can have a quick look at the schedule manager, which shows uh, we are running an internal, sorry, we are running a, um, a schedule here, which has got a bit of a date string in it, and it's currently running. It says it's got the little play symbol there, so we can go over here with the left and right arrow keys uh, on the remote and just select stop. And then we've got two schedules to choose from. Uh, as I said, the, the name has got a bit of a date string in it, so you can actually use that to determine when you created it. Uh, in this case, uh, this one was created on the 2nd 
No, on the 20th of December, um, 1912. And then, yeah, I'm not quite sure what those other numbers mean. Anyway, that's part come generated by the uh, display itself, so uh, it's not really important. It takes care of that. So we can select the schedule we want to play, select it and we get the green button, and then we go over here to run, and we hit the OK button, and we just go yes. We do want to play it. So it's going to read that schedule, determine which content it's going to play, and it's going to then go into the play mode. So in this instance here, what it's playing is a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation from Microsoft. Um, it was actually a show. I don't know if you can see, but there's a slight border around it, and that's because it's like a picture in a picture, as it were, and that's a bit of a, a um, something that, that this media player does when it plays PowerPoint shows. Uh, other thing to notice is that uh, some of the animation has been lost, so the PowerPoint show was created with animation that actually um, dissolved one slide into the other, and it also brought up uh, on a bit of a delay this white bar with the text that was overlaid over the top of that. So that actually faded in, but in this presentation environment using Magic Info Light, those animations have been lost. So something to be aware of. It's not critical, um, but it is something that um, it does do, and that's, uh, I guess, uh, a limitation of the Magic Info Light um, media player. So of course Samsung have uh, better versions of, of their media player, called Magic Info Eye Premium, and of course those issues would go away then. But this is a very, very simple, very, very basic, um, quick and dirty if you like, uh, media player, which works very well, very simple to use. Um, the other thing I just wanted to show you is just quickly the settings. So if we go into the menu, The important area for this uh, side of things is the system, the time of course, uh, the clock, so setting up the clock, I'm not going to show you that because that's pretty simple, but these are the two important areas, on timer and off timer. They determine when the display turns on and when the display turns off, and they are not the schedule that for the content that we're talking about before. This is more fundamental than that because if this display is off, the schedule in Magic Info Lite will not operate. There's nothing. There's no power in the display, not enough power in the display to determine whether it should be playing or not. The display needs to come on first, so this is where you set it. You set your on timer, uh, which is very, very simple. Um, you've got three uh, setups. You select your days. Um, we can do it every day if we like. We can turn it on at 7.15. For, for digital signage purposes, your volume is typically zero, but you can set that to something other than zero. And of course, you need, very important, you need to select the source being Magic Info. As I said, Magic Info is a source just like the HDMI input, just like the VGA input. You need to make sure it's selected. Once you're happy with that, just close it and it will turn on at 7.15 every day in this instance. And uh, we'll just quickly look at the off timer look at that and the off timer is already set it's set to on Mondays through Fridays to turn off at 17.02 so there's a slight problem or could be could potentially be a slight problem in that the on timer was turning it on for Sunday and Saturday but the off timer will not turn it off so probably what we need to do there just to fix that is we go every day close that and now that's configured and now we can duck out of there and we know now that every day, Sunday through Saturday, this display will power up at 7 o'clock, or 7.15 I think it was, and power down at 17.02. And uh, once the unit powers up, then uh, the schedule will be checked, the Magic Info schedule, and if the schedule is current, it will play the presentation. So hopefully that's been helpful. Um, yeah, that's all for now.